NVIDIA FLAX It's an incredibly powerful and fast solver built into Touch Designer and there is no reason not to use it. I couldn't find any short introduction tutorials to this subject, so I decided to make my own. I'm gonna show you the basic setup and some simple stuff you can do with it, and later there'll be a part 2 for this video in which we're gonna dive a bit deeper. So here is how to do the basics. Add an add sub, enable add points, connect it into a convert sub and set convert to particles per point. Append it with an actor comp, that will be our emitter. While we're here, go to the instancing page and enable instancing. Add a sphere cell, plug it into a transform and then into a null. Now set this null to be a translate operator. Select channels for X, Y and Z. Cool, we don't see anything. So let's quickly add a constant mat and apply it to our actor. I know what you're thinking, that, that doesn't look like a sphere, but, but that's because we need to initialize it first. Now let's deal with the container. Add a box up, plug it into a transform and then into a null again. And we are ready to go. Add NVIDIA Flex Solver Comp. That thing will solve our particles positions and tell them where to go. It has two pretty amazing buttons, init and start and they are pretty much self-explanatory. You can add some boundaries. Here, enable boundaries and drag this null to the bounding box subfield. Hit in it, hit start, there goes our fluid. Now let's tune the scale just a bit. Scale up the box, scale down the sphere, hit in it, hit start again, yeah, way, way better. Add a camera and a render top if you wanna render everything. We only have so many points and I want more. So an easy solution is to insert a sprinkle sub right here and let's say give it 10,000 points. And again, hit in it, hit start. Beautiful. As you could guess, we're gonna push those two buttons quite a bit. So let's just add a keyboard and chop, set keys to 1 and 2 and make them control the buttons on the flex solar comp. There are some simulation parameters that you can tweak. You can read about them all in the docs. I'm just gonna show you a couple of the most important ones. The first one is particle radius. The bigger the radius, the more volume will take your fluid until it becomes too large and starts clipping. Another one is adhesion, which controls how sticky are your particles to other stuff. The next one is cohesion, which basically makes particles stick to each other. And finally, there is this enable diffuse particles toggle that doesn't seem to do anything, but you actually have to add an NVIDIA flex stop to utilize it. Drag your actor onto the flex stop and select the diffuse particles from the drop down. That will give you position of the generated diffuse particles, which sort of represents spray and foam. To render them, you need the separate gel. Duplicate our add and convert subs, plug them into a geometry comp, enable instancing, use the flex stop as a transform operator, set channels to RGNB. You can also duplicate the constant mat applied to this gel and set it to a different color so that you could see better. Last thing I wanted to show you is a force comp. With flex, you have to use the force field tab, and basically you can control the strength, the radius and position of your force field. You can also disable the gravity if you want to make this fluid fly around as if you were in space. And that's about it for the first part. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one.